What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where I'll be showing you how you could easily output multiple or one single post in Laravel. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. In the last video, we dived into retrieving data from the database where we returned an array right here called post to the block.index page. Outputting data is very easy in Blade, so let's do that. I've created a separate repository where I defined a static frontend because I don't want to waste that much time on creating it ourselves, since we're not dealing with a Tailwind CSS course. I've got it open right here. I will link it in the description down below, so make sure that you open it, navigate to the resources folder, views folder, and then the block folder. Right here, you'll see three pages, create, index, and show. And we're gonna start off with the index page. So let's open it. Let's click on the copy raw contents button, navigate back to Visual Studio Code, open the index.blade.php file inside our block folder, remove everything that we got, and let's paste what we just copied. Now let's save it, and let's do the same thing for the show.blade.php file. So let's go back. Navigate back to Visual Studio Code, open the show.blade.php, do the same thing. All right. If we save it and navigate to the front end of our page, and let's refresh the forward slash block endpoint, you will see that we got a nice page at our forward slash block endpoint, but the issue that we got right now is that the post that we have right here is static, and we're not using the array we're sending back from the controller. So let's navigate back to our index.blade.php file, and somewhere right here, let's just add a DD of a variable posts. If we save it and navigate back, refresh it, you will see that our controller sent back something which we have used a couple times before, but we haven't really talked about it, which is a collection. Eloquent returns a collection for any method that returns multiple rows. You can see a collection as an array on steroids, where it allows you to easily perform method chaining on it. Now what we could do is navigate back, let's remove our DD, and instead we could add a for each loop right here. All right, we're going to loop over our posts as one single post. Now, whatever is gonna happen right inside of our for each loop will be done 202 times because we got a total of 202 rows. Whatever we want to do right here is to basically add the static block that we have right here. So let's select it. Delete it. All right. Now let's add it inside the for each loop. Let's save it. Let's navigate back to Google Chrome. If we refresh it, you'll see that we have a total of 202 rows, but the data is still static right here. So what we can do right here is to basically check what happens inside our post. So not inside of our posts. So right inside of the for each loop, let's DD our variable post. Save it, refresh it. If we open our original array, we basically got the power to access the ID, title, excerpt, body, minister read, image path, is published, created at, and the updated at. So if we navigate back and remove our DD that we have, let's remove the static title that we got. Let's add curly braces. We're going to use our variable post, and then we're going to add an access operator. And we are going to say that we want to print out our title right here. If we save it and navigate back, refresh it, you'll see that we have different titles for all of our posts. Now the title needs to be clickable as well, so it needs to redirect us to one specific blog post right here. The best possible way to do that is by simply adding curly braces. Then we're going to add the route method, which will refer to a specific named route that we defined. In our case, it will be, in single quotes, block.show. We also have to define a second parameter right here. The first one will be the static route, and the second one will be the route parameter. Now, since we have access to the post title, we also have access to the post ID. If we save it, navigate back, refresh it. If we hover over our title, you'll see in the bottom left it might be small, that the ID or the right parameter is a 103, and the second one is 104. Remember, 
inside our post controller, we've defined the show methods right here. We said that we will be returning one single row called post. Now let's access it inside the show.blade.php file. Right here, we could actually go back to the browser and click on the first post that we have. We've got a simple page where we're simply going to print out one specific post. Now we could basically do the same right here. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's say somewhere at the top, print out our variable post. If we save it and navigate back, refresh it, you'll see that right at the top, we printed out one specific row. So we don't need to loop over an entire array because we simply returned one row. Now let's just grab one specific item right here. Let's say that we want the post ID. If we test it, you'll see that we printed out 103. Now let's start at the top by replacing the values we statically defined right here. Let's first delete our post ID. We've got our H4, which is our title. So let's say curly brace, post title. Once again, we've got the made by section, but this is something we will be covering in a later phase where we will define relationships. So let's skip this entire block right here. We have, well, our paragraph with the font bold, which will basically be our excerpt. So what we can do is basically say, well, print out my post excerpt right here. And for the second paragraph, we're going to print out our post body. Save it, navigate back, refresh it, and the output has been dynamically added. If we replace it with the second one, you'll see that the data is different. Now this was it for this video where we dived into outputting all posts and one single post inside Blade. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.